Ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and I have to say this, that this will not be an anime-related topic, but nonetheless, you know what this channel is about. It is anime, it is gaming, and generally speaking, if you are watching one of my videos or you're subscribed to my channel, then 9 times out of 10, you're going to get some form of Call of Duty gameplay. And with Call of Duty Modern Warfare releasing this year, and it's literally right around the corner, probably dropping in October, or sometime September or November, give and take, because you never know what you're going to get with Activision, it is... A personal video of mine to release this out because I would have to say that this Call of Duty that is about to be released, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, is probably the most heart-wrenching, heart-pumping Call of Duty that is going to be released because I know personally and with everybody in the YouTube community and my friends who play Call of Duty Black Ops 4, we felt absolutely lied to about what what we were getting personally with black ops 4 with everything from the dlc and with everything with the microtransactions but i'm not here to talk about that i'm here to talk about the kill streaks and i want to emphasize that kill streaks not score streaks of the upcoming call of duty modern warfare game now we're back to kills okay kill streaks are here i don't know if they're here to stay but they're definitely here for this game it's been confirmed they are kill streaks non stackable Capturing flags and domination do not count. Securing flags do not count. Planting bombs do not count. Having you will not be able to sit in a corner as your UAV hovers for 35, 45 seconds and have your team get you to the next kill streak. So, wow, it's been a long time since we've just had straight up kill streaks. The fact that they're non stackable, well, that was first implemented back in Black Ops 1, but we have the entire list, all 17 kill streaks that you could possibly get. And my God, let me tell you, do they ever kill? The first one, eh, I mean, the first few, they're not really going to be doing the job for you, but the first one we have up on screen now is your personal radar. Now, the UAV has always, well, let me start off by saying this there is no mini map in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, I'm traditionally a hardcore player, so it doesn't bother me that there's not a mini-map. I actually prefer it. I don't feel as though I should always have to have a silencer on my gun to, to, to be stealthy. You see what I'm saying? I'm already working against ultra, super high-definition headsets. I don't want to have to show up on the map every time I have a UAV. So this does not bother me that there is no traditional mini-map. Now, what you have to start off the very first kill streak slot is your personal radar at three kills. This is like a little escort drone that enables a radar for the owner and pings nearby enemies. Okay, so this this one in particular is not going to help your teammates. This is for purely selfish gains. Your second kill streak that you're uh, on the list is a four kill streak. It's your counter UAV. Now, I want to focus on this counter UAV because the first one is a drone. It's flying. The counter UAV does not resemble a drone at all. Matter of fact, I would say that this is something that's stationary, something like in Call of Duty Ghost with the SATCOM that you had to place on the ground. A drone that constantly emits a scrambling signal, disabling enemy mini maps and incrementally disrupting their senses the closer they get to it. So it says a drone, but it looks stationary. But it is what it is. I'm going by description. It says a drone, but it look keep it moving your next kill streak up on the list is indeed a four kill streak and it is a traditional uav a traditional uav that you know enables a mini a mini map for everybody on your team so if you thought that this was just going to be a purely selfish call of duty with no traditional uav you have another thing coming this is the bread and butter this is the money maker and I want to say this right now. I'm glad it went back to just kill streaks because in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, in this game, it's a four kill streak and the personal UAV is a three kill streak. In Black Ops 4, it would take you six kills to get a UAV in team deathmatch, right? Because in other ones, it took more, assuming you didn't play the objective. Hell, in, in, in kill confirmed, it took you 12 kills. It Look, you call me out of my bullshit. It takes 12 kills and kill confirmed, no tags, to get a UAV. Bro, in Modern Warfare 2, 11 kills get you a chopper gunner. You dropping a nuke, you don't even need a Harrier, you dropping nuke straight off rip 
in Black Ops 4, no tags, 12 kills, UAV versus 11 kills for him. That doesn't make sense to me. I never did like the transition to score streaks versus kill streaks because if anything, it makes me camp more because I have the incentive to go out there and capture the objective is not as high as what you would think. If anything, I'd rather pump out the extra kills and say screw the objective. And this is the last one of the four kill streak bracket because I'm gonna talk about that after this. It's the care package. I'm not gonna go too in depth in the care package. You know what it is? Random kill streak from the entire list dropped in a care package. They'll probably have some perk that'll let you re-roll it to get something better. But if you look at the bottom, there are brackets to these kill streaks. The three kill streak, not a bracket. The four kill streak, those three perks, and the same thing with the five kill streak, the seven, the eight, the ten, and the twelve. You can only pick one kill streak from that bracket. So you know on Black Ops 4, if you get UAV counter UAV care package, and they're kind of they're kind of in the same range. A lot of the times, if I got a kill that got me to a UAV and I get one more kill after that, it would give me my counter and my care package at the exact same time because they're that close in points. They've eliminated that right here. You can only pick one of the kill streaks from the four kill bracket. So you can either get the UAV, the counter, or the care package. You cannot have all three or the two from the four kill streak bracket. So they kind of done due diligence here with that. Now we're starting to get into the bigger guns. We're starting to get into the kill streaks. Emphasis on the kill. We got the cluster strike. Now, signal... For a number of cluster mortars to hit the designated location. Cluster strike literally just, it, I mean, some people have referenced it as uh, um, the mortar strike from, I forgot what Call of Duty it is, where um, you pick three points on the map and then they drop the mortars on those locations. Seems, I mean, that's just what it seems. That's the easiest thing that I can compare it to. After that, we have a five kill streak at the cruise missile. Uh, you control a long range cruise missile with boost capabilities. This is your predator missile, ladies and gentlemen. Right here. Right now. I'm taking everybody. Let me tell you about this. And newer people to Call of Duty won't remember this. And, you know, they don't understand how simplistic Call of Duty's kill streaks have gotten to you in the gameplay. If you're an old head in the Call of Duty family, specifically Modern Warfare 2, if you don't know anything about me, that was the first Call of Duty I've ever played. I got introduced into Xbox Live with Modern Warfare 2, and believe me when I say it made me uh, a man amongst boys here today. But the newer Call of Duty people will never have to encounter the Spawn Predator missile. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're too young to argue with me about Call of Duty. Spawn Predator Missile is literally at the start of a dominate, uh, well, like a, a demolition round, right? Demolition, there was no rounds in domination back in the day, but specifically demolition. Spawn Predator Missile, the game starts at one second. You know how nowadays there's timers, like, oh, your grenade won't be effective for X amount of seconds, or a new two won't be, no, there was none of that in Modern Warfare 2. 3, 2, 1, game starts, incoming enemy predator missile, 6 kills right there. But Modern Warfare 2, the toxic, beautiful scene of Modern Warfare 2 made that a thing. And so now they put in things that will prevent that. So don't expect that from cruise missiles or any other Call of Duty uh, moving forward. Next, we're still in the 5 kill bracket. We have the precision airstrike. I shouldn't have to explain that. It sounds like a normal precision airstrike, three Harriers uh, running over top of a specific location. And in this description of the um, precision airstrike, it actually says twin jets for a precision airstrike along the best available path, which means, oh, this is, I, I can, at five kill streaks, this is already a little bit overpowered, which means if you're around your teammates and say there's three people, I'm assuming. It's going to pick the path where the most enemies are, which is kind of upsetting because it's just going to make me not want to be around my teammates at all, like at all in its entirety. I have no desire to be around my teammates already because I hear their footsteps so loudly, so I don't even like being around them. And I think Call of Duty, Activision, or whoever does it needs to do something about that. I don't, 
I don't like being around them. I always hear their footsteps, and I'm like, bro, wh why are you running anything other than dead silence? Maybe that's just me. I like going completely under the radar when I'm doing my thing. But that is the end of the five kill streaks. And again, the same rule applies. You can only pick kills. You can only pick one kill streak within that, you know, kill bracket. We're at the seven kill streak. I believe this is what. No, this isn't the one that we saw. But this is the remote control UGV with a powerful airburst turret. Um, what what was it called? The um. Huh. It was one of those kill streaks where you call it in. What's that? That couldn't have been Black Ops 4. You just call it in. It's like that little drone that just rides around the map and just blows blows shit up. Nothing serious. Something you can probably remote control like a sentry gun. Holy shit! This is the first Call of Duty that doesn't have a sentry gun. What the world? Bro, no. This is for real. There is no sentry gun on this list. There's a... I, off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure there's been a sentry gun in every single Call of Duty post-modern warfare 2, and I don't see it on this list. Bro, look, that's my favorite kill streak. You know what? Any point you could choke with a sentry gun. Let's keep this moving, bro, because that blew me. Seven kill bracket still, the in uh, infantry assault vehicle. We saw this one. There was a showcase to us a few weeks ago, so... We know that that's there. Not too much to talk about. I hope it's like a tank. You know, you get to drive around. I think that's going to be powerful as hell. Uh, maybe slow. Maybe slow to reload. Maybe the blast radius won't be so big. Because, I mean, how are you supposed to take this down? But my bread and butter, what I made my living on in Modern Warfare 2, the emergency airdrop is back, ladies and gentlemen. They drop you three care packages instead of four from back in the day that I do remember. And it's just love. You drop this in the middle of the map, chaos will ensue. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no way around it. Once you see the emergency airdrop, bro, you're not getting them all. I'll tell you that right now. You're not getting them all. Not without the help of somebody. Especially if you have, like, Engineer or something or Hardline Pro to where you can re-roll it. You're not getting all those care packages. But I do like to see that that has came back. I do see a lot that they're giving from a nostalgia base uh, purpose, purposes, you know, emergency airdrop. And, and we have our next one up right here, the VTOL Jet. If you're an old head, this is your Harrier Strike. Same amount, oh, well, one extra kill. It was seven back in the day. It's eight kills now. Nonetheless, it's two precision airstrikes, and then a hovering Harrier will be on the location that you call it in on so this is very good for objective gameplay i'm glad to see this because in the past the harrier would hover around the entire damn map it actually would go to the people if you were shooting at it it would go to you and it would, it would beam you and then it'd keep it moving but this is more objective based so for demolition for domination i keep saying demolition but they took that out i would love for that game mode to come back though um eight kills only one in that bracket ladies and gentlemen may i introduce to you the Chapa Guna. This is more reminiscent of the gunship because not only does it shoot bullets, but it has uh, air to land missiles as well. So you will be looking flying your gunship, flying and hovering around the map. Well, that's one thing that we don't know. Are you going to be able to control it completely? Or is it going to be like Modern Warfare 2 where you have the pilot and then you are the gunner? That's one up for debate. I would argue that you could control it considering you have the land to, uh, air to land missiles. But then you, we, we're just going to find that out. White phosphorus. 10 kill streak. And the cause of a lot of headlines throughout the media. What's interesting about this is that not only it'll, it's, it's going to cover the entire battlefield with white smoke flares. Canisters that will disorient the enemy and burn any that wander too close. So not only is so think napalm strike that's gonna cover it, it's gonna burn you. But then even if the enemy is looking at it or they get too close to it, it's, it's gonna act as like a blinding flash. Not a flash, but a blinding light that's just constant. So imagine exactly what used to happen with the nine bang, how you saw nothing for like 15 seconds. Think that and a napalm strike at the same damn time. Support Hilo at 11 kills, the only one in its bracket again. Pavlo. All I gotta say. Big ass pavlo i'm gonna play something for y'all real quick and if you don't immediately hold your breath don't argue with me about call of duty 12 kills 
the ACL test here, Mom! It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. AC-130, bitch. Look. This instilled fear as a, as, as a child growing up. <laughs> when this hit the map, all hell broke loose. Because it, it took like four Stinger missiles. I, I can't, I'm not exaggerating. The kill streaks in Modern Warfare 2 used to be a beast to get out the sky. Minus the Harrier. Pavlo took three. Chopper Gunner took three. AC-130 took four. And it was insanely high in the air. Like, even if you got the Stinger missile off... The AC-130 could make like a full gun rotation on the entire field. This gunship was insane, people. It was insane, and I'm so happy. Look, I'm trying to tell you, this is a Call of Duty. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is a Call of Duty that is giving us what we want and living true to the name. Kill streaks. This is what we want. This is what we need. This is what we love, and we love it, and we got it. Whoo! <clears throat> Next up. Advanced UAV. I don't know what it is about Treyarch and not giving the people, the consumers who buy the game, what it is with them not giving us what we want. Because, you know, if you gave us what we want, we would be more inclined to spend money after the fact. But the fact that y'all said, screw us, we're not putting uh, a Blackbird in Call of Duty. Well, you know, nothing else. Just talk about it. It's, it's, I don't know if it's going to be the bright ones or the hollowed out triangles or the fully solid red triangles nonetheless we got what we wanted but keep in mind that this is in the 12 kill streak bracket so it's either ac-130 or it's advanced uav and then of course this is one that we all saw the juggernaut with the gatling gun <laughs> i was never a fan of the gatling gun but it's there it, it, it was just i like to move fast when i play call of duty and the juggernaut just it, it just it just wasn't for me now i would probably use it if i played something like safeguard because it's, that seems more practical the juggernaut seems like a more objective based kill streak so that's something to look forward to if you're really heavy into like safeguard or you're really heavy into well i don't know all the game modes that they're going to bring back but if they my god if we can get ground war back please somebody lord talk to the developers give us ground war but look, hey, that's everything that we that those are all the kill streaks. All 17 of the kill streaks kill emphasized on these streaks. And I'll keep y'all posted with, you know, saying kill streaks and stuff like that. Like I'm mainly about anime, but look, this channel's the same way about anime, the same way about Call of Duty. And I'm gonna be posting those things and keep y'all with the updates. So look, that's all I got for y'all today. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. All of that good fancy stuff. Keep it safe and rapid tight. I'm out.